Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Mike Pointo, and Shigeru Miyamoto is a man that needs no introduction, being perhaps the most famous and legendary video game designer of all time. He's the mastermind behind franchises like Super Mario Bros., Star Fox, The Legend of Zelda, Pikmin, F-Zero, Luigi's Mansion, Nintendogs, and more, and the father of gaming icons such as Mario, Luigi, Bowser, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Zelda, Ganon, Fox, and Captain Falcon, amongst many others. Originally hired by Nintendo in 1977 as they were transitioning from making playing cards to electronic games, he has to date been involved to some degree in the production of more than 300 titles, and the majority of his games receive universal praise and acclaim. He is, without a doubt, the most influential figure in the history of video games. It may surprise you to learn then, that early on in his career, there was a NES game he made that was released in Japan and PAL territories, but never made it to North America. That game was Devil World, published in 1984 in Japan and 1987 in PAL regions. At its core, the game was a pseudo Pac-Man clone, but with a twist that the mains could shift in one of four directions, so the player needed to be careful in order to not get squashed against walls. It was never released in NTSC territories, however, due to Nintendo of America's strict policies on religious imagery, effectively banning it from sale. The player controls a little dragon that is attacking the Devil's World, and must pick up crosses in order to defeat the enemies and collect the dots in the maze. Once he does so, a second stage begins, where the player needs to collect four Bibles and return them to a central seal in the middle of the maze. All the while, the devil at the top of the screen is ordering his minions to move the maze in specific directions. Some of the mazes themselves also contain cross shapes. What's even more interesting about Devil World is that the game was made available to download from the Wii's Virtual Console in 2008, but once again, only in Japan and PAL regions. You can see I have it right here on my Australian Wii U. You'd think after all that time had passed, that Nintendo wouldn't have a problem finally releasing it to Americans. But nope, <laughs> apparently it's still banned. However, that hasn't stopped some other games, such as Super Smash Bros, from paying homage to it. The devil from the game himself was added to the series as an assist trophy that could appear during a battle to help or hinder the players, and he's included regardless of where the game was purchased. So, for some reason, even though they still to this day don't want to release the original game in North America, they don't have any problems including the titular character in their flagship fighting game series. Huh, interesting. He was also originally added in the Wii iteration, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which makes the decision to not release the game on the Virtual Console even more confusing. And while we're on the subject of Devil World and Super Smash Bros., the playable character in the game, named Tamagon, actually had an unlockable trophy in the Japanese version of Super Smash Bros. Melee on the GameCube, but was inaccessible in not just the NTSC version, but the PAL version too. Oddly, the game name is incorrectly stated to be called Demon World here. Both Tamagon and the Devil also show up as spirits in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the Switch. This is just one of a lot of examples of this religious imagery policy being enforced, with many other games either requiring changes or being unavailable completely. Castlevania is a good example that didn't escape Nintendo of America's wrath. The original Japanese title was Akumaju Dorakura, or Devil's Castle Dracula. And as Miyamoto found out, the word devil was almost certainly an instant no-no as far as Nintendo of America were concerned. The title wasn't the only thing changed about the game however, with a number of changes made to the manual. The monsters were referred to as creatures. The cross was called the boomerang. The rosary was called the magic cross. The holy water was called the firebomb. And even Dracula himself was only referred to as the Count. Oh, hello, it is I, the Count. <laughs> I'm called the Count because I love to count. Another game that Miyamoto was ironically involved in, the Super Nintendo classic The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, needed to be renamed. It was originally subtitled Kamigami no Triforce, or Triforce of the Gods in Japan, 
and Nintendo of America probably did not want the word gods in the title. It also had religious references removed or altered in order to release in the US. Priests became wizards or sages, goddesses became fairies, and the church became a sanctuary. The background story was also altered slightly. The Saiken Densetsu or Mana series were in the same boat, which I cover in this video if you want to know more about that. And there are plenty of other examples you can find once you start going down this rabbit hole. In the case of Devil World, the religious allusions were probably too ingrained into it to make any meaningful changes and keep the game as it was intended. Either that, or Miyamoto simply refused to make any alterations. If you want to know more facts like this about the Nintendo Entertainment System, I'll throw in a shameless plug for my book here as well. There's a lot more information in there surrounding the NES, as well as plenty of other consoles, so check it out if you're into this type of history because I cover a lot of this kind of thing. How did the classic Nintendo characters get their names? And what weird peripheral did the console almost get? <laughs> You'll need to buy my book to find out. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, it really helps a lot, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!